Imagine an emperor who ruled one of the world's greatest empires, yet sought wisdom not in the halls of power, but within the quiet chambers of his own mind. Meet Marcus Aurelius, the enigmatic Roman ruler whose life story is a captivating blend of power, philosophy, and introspection. This extraordinary man, born into a world of privilege and excess, would become a paragon of Stoic virtue, and his enduring legacy continues to shape the way we think about leadership, philosophy, and the human condition. In this journey through history, we will unravel the fascinating tapestry of Marcus Aurelius's life, exploring how he ascended to the throne, his profound devotion to Stoicism, and the tumultuous era he navigated as emperor. Delve with us into the innermost thoughts of an emperor as we unveil the treasured manuscript, Meditations, and uncover the timeless wisdom hidden within its pages. Marcus Aurelius, born on April 26, 121 AD in Rome, entered a world of privilege and nobility. His full name was Marcus Aurelius Antonius, and his family had long-standing roots in the Roman aristocracy. His early life was marked by the loss of his father at a young age, leaving him under the care of his grandfather. In the midst of Rome's grandeur and extravagance, young Marcus was introduced to the world of philosophy, particularly the Stoic teachings. His dedication to Stoicism grew with the guidance of tutors and mentors, setting the stage for his profound philosophical inclinations later in life. However, his ascent to power was far from straightforward. Marcus's life took a dramatic turn when he was unexpectedly thrust into the role of emperor. In 161 AD, he was adopted by the reigning emperor Antonius Pius and named as his successor. This unexpected appointment came as a shock to the young philosopher, who had always aspired to a life of contemplation rather than rule. Upon Antonius Pius's death in 161 AD, Marcus Aurelius became the emperor of Rome, co-ruling with his adoptive brother, Lucius Verus. As the ruler of the vast Roman Empire, Marcus faced a multitude of challenges, including external threats from invaders like the Parthians, and internal issues such as economic crises and political intrigue. Marcus's reign was marked by a commitment to the well-being of his subjects and a profound sense of duty. His stoic upbringing played a significant role in shaping his approach to leadership, emphasizing self-control, wisdom, and empathy. Despite the unexpected and often turbulent nature of his rise to power, Marcus Aurelius's reign as emperor marked the beginning of a new era, one in which philosophy and leadership were intertwined in a unique and enduring way. His early life and ascent to the throne would set the stage for the profound impact he would have on the Roman Empire and the world of philosophy. The foundation of Marcus Aurelius's remarkable journey, both as a philosopher and as a Roman emperor, was Stoicism, a philosophy that would not only guide his personal life, but also shape his approach to leadership. Stoicism, founded in Athens around 300 BC by Zeno of Citium, was deeply rooted in the belief that virtue, wisdom, and self-discipline were the keys to living a good life. Marcus Aurelius, inspired by Stoic teachings, embraced this philosophy as a compass for navigating the complexities of existence. Central to Stoic philosophy was the concept of understanding what was within one's control and what was not. This perspective was eloquently articulated in the famous Stoic dichotomy of control, recognizing that individuals have power over their thoughts, emotions, and actions but little influence over external events. For Marcus, this was not merely a theoretical concept, but a daily practice, allowing him to maintain inner tranquility amidst the turbulence of ruling an empire. Stoicism also emphasized the importance of self-examination and introspection. For Marcus, the inner life was a place of constant reflection and self-improvement. This was exemplified in his personal journal, 
known as Meditations, in which he contemplated life's challenges, the nature of virtue, and the impermanence of existence. Moreover, Stoicism encouraged empathy and duty toward others. Marcus Aurelius understood that his role as emperor required him to consider the welfare of his subjects above all else, an idea deeply entrenched in Stoic ethics. He viewed himself not as a ruler of power, but as a servant of the Roman people, tasked with upholding justice and virtue. The Stoic philosophy also encouraged the development of resilience in the face of adversity. Throughout his life, Marcus faced wars, plagues, and political turmoil. But he met these challenges with unwavering determination and a Stoic calm. His writings in Meditations reveal a deep appreciation for the transient nature of life and the importance of facing difficulties with grace and equanimity. Marcus Aurelius's dedication to Stoicism transformed him into a philosopher king, a ruler whose wisdom and virtue were intertwined with his leadership. As we journey deeper into his life and meditations, we will uncover how this profound philosophy became the guiding light in his quest for personal and imperial excellence. Marcus Aurelius's rule as Roman Emperor from 161 to 180 AD coincided with a challenging period in the history of the Roman Empire. His leadership was tested by a series of crises and external threats that would demand both his Stoic philosophy and his administrative acumen. The Antonin Plague Early in his reign, the Roman Empire faced one of its deadliest challenges, the Antonin Plague, likely a pandemic caused by either smallpox or measles. This devastating disease decimated the population and disrupted the economy. Marcus and his co-emperor Lucius Verus were forced to manage this crisis, and their efforts to alleviate the suffering of their subjects became a defining feature of their reign. Military Campaigns The Roman Empire was continuously engaged in military conflicts during Marcus Aurelius's rule. The Parthian Empire in the east and Germanic tribes along the northern frontiers posed significant threats. Marcus personally led campaigns against these foes, displaying his commitment to defending the empire. His meditations reveal the weight of responsibility he felt as he led Roman legions into battle. Economic Challenges the empire also faced economic challenges with high taxation and inflation affecting the populace. Marcus attempted to address these issues, but the strains on the Roman economy persisted throughout his reign. Political Intrigue The inner workings of the Roman Senate were fraught with political intrigue and corruption. As a Stoic philosopher king, Marcus attempted to instill a sense of moral rectitude in the Senate but he faced significant resistance from entrenched interests. Despite these trials, Marcus Aurelius remained steadfast in his commitment to Stoic principles. His reign was characterized by his dedication to the well-being of the Roman people and his unwavering sense of duty. He continued the policies of his adopted father, Antonius Pius, which included fostering justice supporting the arts and sciences, and ensuring fair taxation. Amid the tumultuous backdrop of ruling the Roman Empire, Marcus Aurelius turned to the sanctuary of his own mind, capturing his profound reflections in a series of personal writings now famously known as Meditations. These writings provide an intimate glimpse into the thoughts, struggles, and philosophical musings of an emperor who grappled with the complexities of both his leadership and the human condition. Meditations, composed in the form of a private journal, was never intended for public consumption. It is an introspective exploration of Stoic philosophy, applied to the trials and tribulations of daily life and leadership. Divided into 12 books, Marcus's meditations offer timeless wisdom on a wide range of topics, from ethics and duty to the nature of the self 
and the impermanence of all things. Self-improvement. In his writings, Marcus often emphasizes the importance of self-improvement and the pursuit of wisdom. He advocates for continual introspection and self-discipline, reminding himself to strive for moral excellence. Facing adversity. The emperor's contemplations on the inevitability of challenges and suffering reflect the stoic belief in enduring hardship with equanimity. He viewed adversity as an opportunity for personal growth and character development. Humility and Service Marcus Aurelius underscores the importance of humility and service in his role as a ruler. He sees himself not as a monarch, but as a servant of the Roman people, tasked with upholding justice and the greater good. Acceptance of the Inevitable Throughout meditations, he repeatedly reminds himself of the fleeting and impermanent nature of life, reinforcing the stoic acceptance of what is beyond one's control. Leadership and Responsibility As an emperor, Marcus grapples with the weight of his leadership, recognizing the burden of responsibility that comes with wielding power. His writings illustrate the inner conflict he experienced when making difficult decisions. The Unity of Humanity Marcus acknowledges the interconnectedness of all human beings, advocating for empathy and understanding, even towards those who oppose him. These reflections are not mere philosophical exercises, but a record of a leader's inner dialogue, shaped by the enduring influence of Stoic principles. Meditations is a testament to the power of self-reflection and philosophy in guiding an individual through the trials of leadership and life itself. Upon Marcus Aurelius's death in 180 AD, the world lost not only a wise and philosophical emperor, but a guiding light of Stoic thought. His enduring legacy transcends time, resonating through the ages. Meditations, once a private journal, has become a philosophical classic, inspiring countless individuals to seek inner peace, wisdom, and moral fortitude. The Stoic principles he championed continue to shape the minds of leaders, philosophers, and seekers of truth. In a world characterized by constant change, Marcus Aurelius remains a symbol of steadfast resilience, unwavering virtue, and the power of philosophy to navigate the complexities of existence.